everybody, welcome to Yoga Sculpt. My name is Savvy. We're gonna be doing a full workout together with no equipment, but if you have some weights or a block, feel free to use them throughout class. Just like we did in the last video, it's gonna be the same sort of format. We're gonna start with about 20 minutes of yoga and then we'll switch over to our arms, legs, cardio, and core. All right, let's get started and extend a child's pose at the back of your mat. Big toes can come to touch. Knees spread out as wide as you would like. Reach those arms out in front of you and rest your forehead on your mat. We'll start out today by rocking your forehead side to side, massaging out your forehead. While we're doing this, we're just going to find our breath, taking deep inhales through your nose and open mouth exhales. We use this breath to release heat from your body. Throughout class, I will be giving breaks, but if you need that extra break, feel free to pause the video and join us back when you're ready. Let's unify our breath. Exhale all the air from your lungs. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. One more time, take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. On your next inhale, shift forward the tabletop, stack your shoulders over your wrist, your hips over your knees. We'll take three rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, send your gaze up. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine, send your gaze back. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine. One more time, inhale, cow pose, reach that gaze up high. Exhale, cat pose, feel that stretch in your spine. Inhale back to tabletop. We're stepping back into a high plank, holding it right here. Starting off our workout with a nice plank hold. Your option here is to come down to your knees or you can come down to your elbows. We're here for four, three, shifting back to downward dog in two, and one, shift back, downward facing dog. This is your first downward dog of class. Start to make some organic movements here. Maybe pedal out your feet. Rock your head side to side. Whatever feels good in your body today, make sure that you're listening to your body throughout the entire class. We'll come back to stillness. Inhale to your tippy toes. Exhale, melt your heels to the right side of your mat. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, melt your heels to the left side of your mat. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, melt your heels down towards your mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right elbow pose. Step your feet behind your wrist. Option to grab onto opposite elbows. Again, swaying back and forth. Maybe shaking and nodding your head yes and no. Again, making some organic movements here. If you took a grip, switch it up now. Opposite hand to opposite elbow. All right, release your fingertips to your mat. Toe heel your feet together. With a deep bend in your knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time, your head and neck last to rise. Once you get to the top, we'll do some shoulder rolls backwards and forwards. All right, release your fingertips to your side. Let's flow Sunday. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your fingertips up high. Round down into your mat. Exhale, baby back bend. Open up your arms. Open up your chest. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, drop at your waist. Inhale, halfway lift, keep a flat back. Hands are on your shins or thighs. Exhale, high to low plank, plant your hands, step your feet back. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up your chest, flip to the tops of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog, extend your hip time. Let's do this again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, open up your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up high. Exhale, baby back bend, open up your arms. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up high. Exhale, forward fold, drop at your waist. Inhale, halfway lift, open up your chest. Exhale, high to low plank, step your feet back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Keep your elbows close to your body. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
press into your heels. We'll go through this one more time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Keep a flat back, open up your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up high. Exhale, baby back bend. <clears throat> Goal post, your arms open. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, dive forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Keep a flat back. Exhale, high to low plank, plant your hands, step your feet back. Inhale, upward facing dog, press into your palms. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips high. You're shifting forward to high plank, coming down onto your knees in tabletop position. You're reaching out your right arm and your left leg for a bird dog. Right here, opposite hand, opposite leg. Stabilizing your core right here. Reaching out as far as you can forward and as far as you can back. Keep it up right here. We're here for four, three, two, one. Press back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. Let's move on to sun B. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, keep a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit your butt back, reach your fingertips up high. Exhale, airplane arms, bend your elbows, send your hands back. Weight should be in your heels, you should be able to lift up your toes. Inhale, chair pose, reach your arms up high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, open up your chest. Exhale, high to low plank, plant your hands. Step your feet back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press into your heels. Inhale, your right toes high. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold. Carve out your belly right here. Inhale, toes high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot in between your hands. Inhale, press and lunge. Reach your arms up high. We're bringing our hands to heart center. Lifting that back heel up closer to your front leg. You've got a lunge and a front kick right here. Nice balance move. Your option here is to take out that kick or to lunge, step in, then kick, and then step back. There we go. Lunge and kick right here. Finding that 90-90 bend in both knees. Oops, almost fell over. There we go, keep it up. We're here for four, three, two, one. Inhale, cross and lunge, reach your arms up high. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down. Open up your arms. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your front arm straight up high. Little to no weight in your back hand. Exhale, high to low plank. Cartwheel your arms down to your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips high. Inhale, your left toes high. Exhale, knee to nose, carve out your belly. Inhale, your toes high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot in between your hands. Inhale, caress and lunge, reach those arms up high. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Bring that back foot in just a little bit. We're going back to that lunge and kick. Just like that. Throughout this video, you'll notice that I'll switch directions while we do our yoga flow. This is just so you can see when I open up to that warrior two that we're facing each other. So no need for you to switch back and forth on your mat. That's just for me. Keep it up right here. We're here for four, three, Two, and one, inhale, caress and lunge. Reach your arms up high. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down, open up your arm. Keep this bend in your front knees, shoulders are over your hips. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your arms straight up high. Feel that stretch in your side body. Exhale, high, low point, cartwheel your arms down to your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips high. You're shifting 
forward to high plank. You've got leg lifts right and left, just like this, reaching your legs up, not too high. Your option here is to drop down to your elbows. You're here for four, three, push back in two, and one, push back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, open mouth, exhale, inhale, look forward, exhale, step to the top of your mat, inhale, halfway lift, keep a flat back, exhale, forward fold, inhale, chair pose, sit your butt back, reach those arms up high, exhale, airplane arms, bend your elbows back, send your fingertips back. You should be able to squeeze your thighs together right here. Inhale, chair pose, arms go up. Exhale, forward fold, bend at your waist. Inhale, halfway lift, keep a flat back. Exhale, high to low plank, plant your hands, step your feet back. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, press into your heels. Inhale, your right toes high. Exhale, knee, right elbow, hold. Inhale, your toes high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot in between your hands. Inhale, cross and lunge, reach those arms up high. Exhale, hands on heart center. Lift that back foot up a little bit. You've got high foods right here. Driving your knee into your chest. Your hands can come up like this, or you can do a runner's pose. Runner's arm, rather. There we go, right here. Drive that knee into your chest. Quick cardio burst right here. Work here for four, three, crescent in two, and one. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach your arms up high. Exhale, warrior two, swing your back heel down. Open up your arms. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your front arm. Straight up high, keep that bend in your front knee. Exhale, high to low plank, cartwheel your arms down to your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips high. Inhale, your left toes high this time. Exhale, knee to left elbow hold. Inhale, your toes high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot in between your hands. Inhale, crescent and lunge, reach those arms up high. Hands on heart center, bring that back foot in a little bit closer. We're going back to high speeds. Drive your knee into your chest. You can go really fast with these, or you can take it a little bit slower. Drive it down, keep it up. You're here for four, three, crescent in two, and one. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach those arms up high. Exhale, warrior two, swing your back heel down. Open up your arms. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your front arms straight up high. Exhale, high below plank, cartwheel your arms down to your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift your gaze up high to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up. You're shifting forward to high plank. Your best spider crunches right and left, bringing your knee to your elbow. Your option is to bring this down to your knees. Finding that nice oblique, side oblique crunch. You're here for four, three, push back in two, and one, push back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step to the top of your mat. Last time right here. Inhale, halfway lift, keep a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, reach your arms up high. Exhale, airplane arms, bend your elbows, send your hands back. Shift one inch lower. Inhale, chair pose, reach your arms up high. We're bringing our hands to heart center. We're pulsing right here, up and down, keeping our knees over our heels as much as possible. Pulsing right here, 
Keep it up. Breathing through, we're here for four, three, chair pose in two, and one, inhale, chair pose, exhale, forward fold, bend at your waist. Inhale, halfway lift, keep a flat back. Exhale, high to low plank, pull at your hands, step your feet back. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips high. Inhale, your right toes high. Exhale, knee to left elbow, twist. Inhale, your toes high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot in between your hands. Inhale, cross and lunge, reach your arms up, engage your core right here. Exhale, where you're to, spin your back heel down. Open up your arms. We've got a bow and arrow motion. It goes down and up, down and up. You're bending your front knee and moving your arms right here. This would be a perfect time to add in those weights if you have them. If not, this is just as good. Keep it up right here. Bending that front knee, reaching down low as much as you can, down and up. We're here for four, three, warrior two, and two, and one. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, inhale, reverse warrior, reach your front arm straight up high. Exhale, high to low plank, cartwheel your arms down to your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, press into your heels. Inhale, your left toes high. Exhale, knee, right elbow, twist. Inhale, your toes high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot in between your hands. Inhale, caress and lunge, reach your arms up high. Shoulders are down your back. Exhale, warrior two. Open up your arms. We're going back to that bow and arrow. You press down and up. Finding that nice knee bend, reaching low. Keep it up right here. Hips down and up. When you get to the top, you're elongating those arms out to the sides of the room, keeping our posture nice and strong. This is our last time here. Keep it up. We're here for four, three, Warrior two and two, and one. Inhale, warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your front arm straight up high. Exhale, high to low plank. Cartwheel your arms down to your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up, exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips high. You're shifting forward to high plank, bringing those legs in. You've got a bear squat right here, holding one inch off the ground in tabletop position. We're here for four, three, two, one. Bring it back down to your knees. Take a breather, grab a drink of water. Let's rest for a second. All right, we're gonna be moving on to our leg series. Today we've got three minutes, three moves, one minute long. Each move we're gonna split up into right and left side. We're starting on the ground for a heel lift. So what it's gonna look like, you're gonna start in tabletop position. Your knee is gonna come in and then your heel lifts in and lift just like that. We start with our right leg, move on to our left leg, 30 seconds each side, one minute total. Our next movement is gonna be again, in tabletop position, you've got a fire hydrant right here. You're just lifting up your knee and your heel to the side. And then our last movement, you're gonna step your foot out. You're gonna cross it over and up, down and up. Here's what it looks like from this side. It goes down and up, just like that. <clears throat> Again, 30 seconds each leg, one minute total. We are starting with our right leg, with your heel lift, 30 seconds. Let me set up my timer, 30 seconds on the clock. 
o'clock. We're starting with that heel lift. In three, two, one, right leg in and up. Thinking about a food platter on your heel, lifting it straight up high. You're trying not to lean into your left hip. You're keeping your hips as square as possible. We're 10 seconds away from switching our legs. We've got a really quick transition. It's coming up in four, three, two, one, switch legs. It's in and up. There we go, you crunch and up. We're keeping our core nice and tight to stabilize ourselves up. Again, you're trying not to lean into your right hip. You've got 10 more seconds, then we move on to fire hydrant. Right leg first. You bring your knee and your heel up to the side. We move in three, two, one, fire hydrants. Let's go. No breaks in between. You can do this right here. Keep it up. Feel that burn. We've got a quick leg burst. We move on to arms, cardio, core, and we are finished. We're already halfway through our workout. We move in five more seconds to the left side. We move in three, two, one, switch sides. Keep it up right here. Feel that burn. Try not to lean into your right hip. You can do this. You have 10 more seconds. Then we move on to our step and over. We move in three, two, one, and go step and over, down and up right here. I like to picture myself lifting my leg over my water bottle. Right here, keep it up. You have 10 more seconds, then we move on to the other leg, and then you're done with legs for the rest of the workout. We're here for three, two, one, switch leg, it's down and up, down and up. Less than 30 seconds to go with legs. Keep it up, you are strong. You only have 10 more seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Let's go, keep it up, right here. You have five more seconds. You have three, two, one, rest. Let's bring it back into child's pose. Just like that. Rock your hips side to side. We'll come up to a seated position really quick. Nice little stretch before we move on to our arms. All right, for our arms today, we're just gonna be doing arm circles. We've got two and a half minutes on the clock. Two minutes, 30 seconds, purely arm circles. You can be up on your knees like this or seated back. Arms out to the side. We're starting in three, two, one. Let's circle forwards. Just like that. Shoulders are down your back. Your neck is tall. If you want, you can always stand it up and step side to side. That helps distract your mind. Let's circle backwards. This is a perfect time to start taking nice deep inhales through your nose and open mouth exhales, calming your heart just a little bit before we get into that nice cardio. All right, let's pulse up. And we pulse back. Let's pulse down. And we pulse forwards right here. For three, two, one. All right, you move. You're gonna, palms are gonna face down. You're gonna pulse back for two. Pulse forwards for two, back and forwards. Again, palms are facing down, just like that. Two moves back, two pulses forward. You're here for four, three. 
We're switching directions in two and one. We switch directions this time. It's double down and double up, down and up, just like that. This is a perfect time to make sure that your shoulders are down your back. You're only one more minute away from finishing. We're here for four, three. You're done in two and one with these. All right, bring those hands out. This time you're gonna go down, or palms face out, palms face down. Just like you're circling a ball. Keep it up right here. You have only 30 more seconds to go. We're here for four, three, two, one. This time you're gonna flick your fingers just like you have some water on your fingers. You're flicking it out. We're here for four, three, two, one. Last move, you're opening and closing your doorknob. You have less than 10 seconds to go right here. Keep it up. You are almost there. We're here for three, two, one. Clap up if you can, shake it out. Let's quick stretch our arms out real quick before we move on to cardio. All right, let's switch up those arms. Bring your arm across your body. All right, let's get our triceps real quick. Bring it back behind your head. And switch arms back behind your head. All right, shake it out. Grab a drink of water. We're getting ready for cardio. Let me quick break it down for you. All right, you've got 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, or rather, sorry, 10 seconds off. You've got an active rest. It's gonna be a jump rope. Looks a little like this. Or you can step it side to side as long as you're moving through your active rest. Totally fine with me. Let me quick break down your movements for you. You have five movements today. We're starting with skiers. So it's just opposite hand, opposite leg, forwards and back. Your next move after that is going to be a jump lunge. You start with one leg and then jump to the next. Your option here is to do just step back lunges if you don't wanna jump. Then after that, we're bringing it down on the ground. You've got mountain climbers dragging your knees into your chest. Then we bring it up. You've got burpees bringing your heels up to your butt. Or it's not burpees, sorry, these are butt kicks. Your option here is to step back like this. And then our last movement is a burpee. Many different options, you can always step it out. You can stay low, whatever you wanna do in your burpee, go for it. All right, I'll make sure to remind you what move is coming up next. We're starting with skiers, 30 seconds on the clock. We start in three, two, one, 30 seconds right here. Skiers, jumping up high, trying to keep your jump as quiet as possible. I'm sounding like an elephant right now, but that's okay. Keep it up right here. 10 more seconds, then we've got our active rest. We're here for four, three, two, one. Jump it out. Active rest right here. Your next movement is that jump lunge. Your option is to step it back. We start in five seconds. Three, two, one, lunge it out. Keep it up right here. You have 15 more seconds, let's go. Chest. 
drive those knees and keep it up. Let's go. Halfway there. You can always slow it down and drive those knees in. For five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Back to rest straight here. Your next movement is butt kickers. We're two movements away from finishing our cardio moves. You're starting in three, two, one. Butt kickers right here or stepping it back. Option here, you can add your arms, make it a little bit more fun if you want, or you can keep your arms right here in a nice jogging motion. Halfway there, keep it up. Let's go. Here for five more seconds. We're here for three, two, one. Let's jump it out. Last movement. Burpees, 30 seconds. We're almost there. Give it your all. We're here for three, two, one. Let's go, burpees. Final 30 seconds right here. Power through. Power through. You're halfway there. Keep it up. right there. Taking deep, big deep inhales through your nose and open mouth exhales. We want to release that heat from your body a little bit. Slow your heart rate down before we move it down to our mats for our last series core. Grab a drink of water if you need one. I know I do. All right, let's bring it down to our mat. We are gonna start with our core series, last series of our workout. You only have about four more minutes of work before we get to stretching. Let me quick break down our core for you. It's gonna be 45 seconds on, 15 second rest. We start with our first move on our backs, which is gonna be a dead bug. So what you do is you, your feet are in reverse tabletop. Your hands are gonna be up like this. You drop your right arm and your left leg, and then lift, and then opposite arm and opposite leg. This is just like that bird dog we started off with in class, just like this, except this time, we're on our backs. Then your next move after that is going to be a simple crunch move. And then after that, we'll bring it up. You've got boat pose. So boat pose looks like this or this, heels on your mat or lifted. And then throughout the 45 seconds, I will tell you to go from high boat or low boat um, we'll go back and forth between that. And then our next movement is going to be a scoop crunch. So you just lay back and scoop left, scoop right. Here's a side view of what it looks like. And then our final move is going to be a one minute plank. We're going to finish off with that. Don't worry, you will get a nice little rest in between our core and our plank. All right, let's get ready. We're starting on our backs. For bird dog, 15 seconds on the, not 15, sorry, 45 seconds on the clock. We start in three, two, one, 45 seconds, let's go. Dead bug right here. Making sure that your arms and your legs don't touch the floor, they hover. The slower you go, the harder it's gonna be, the faster you go, it's a little bit easier. 
Keep it up just like that. Boom. Only 15 more seconds. You get that nice 15 second break. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Next up, you have your crunch. Hands are behind your head. Feet are planted on your mat. We start in three, two, one. Crunches. 45 seconds. Your back is pressed against your mat. Hands are behind your head. Elbows out super far so you can't see them. You're lifting straight up and down, finding that point on a ceiling and lifting straight up to that point. Halfway there, keep it up. Make sure you're still breathing. You're here for five more seconds. You're here for three, two, one, rest. We're bringing it up, getting ready for high boat and low boat. We're starting in high boat right here. We're here for three, two, one. We start in high boat. Your hands can be like this. They can be holding. Your heels can be down. Let's move it into low boat. We're here for three, two, one. Back to high boat. Hold it right here. Going to low boat in three, two, one. Low boat for three, two, one. Bring it up, high boat. You're here for three, two, one. Low boat for three, two, one. High boat. You have 15 seconds left. We're here for three, two, one. Low boat. Three, two, one, high boat. You're here for three, two, one, and rest. Last move before we get to our one minute plank. You've got that scoop crunch right and left. You have five more seconds right here. We're here for three, two, one. Let's scoop crunch 45 seconds. Right and left. We have that nice low boat infused in our scoop crunch. Feel free to take this slow or fast. You're halfway there, keep it up. Let's go. I feel the burn just as much as you do. 15 more seconds, let's go. You have five, you have three. Two, one, rest. All right, let's flip it over for our high plank. You can be in a low plank, high plank. As long as you are planking, you are good to go. You can do toe taps, mountain climbers, spider crunches, do whatever you want to do as long as you're holding it up. We're starting in three, two, one, one minute high plank or low plank, whatever type of plank right here. Keep it up. One minute on the clock. This is your last movement, your last exercise of your whole entire workout. Push through, keep it up right here. You can do it. You are so, so strong. Let's go. You are breathing through it right here. You're already halfway there. You can do another 30 seconds right here. You have 15 more seconds. You can do anything for 15 seconds. Let's go right here. Keep it up. Push through, push through, push through. Let's go. You have four more, three more, two more, one more. Bring it back. Child's pose right here. Pat yourself on the back. Take a nice deep breath. Open mouth, exhale. You have finished it. You have accomplished this workout. All right, when you're ready, you can bring it up. 
seated position. Let's quick stretch before we finish out our class. All right, we'll take your right ankle, cross it over your left knee. Pull your left heel closer to your butt. And then find that nice deep stretch, opening up your hips. Maybe rocking side to side a little bit, finding that deeper stretch. Making sure to keep your foot flexed. Don't want to get an injury from stretching. Let's bring it over to the other side. Left ankle crosses over your right knee. Pull your right heel closer to your butt. And then again, find that nice opening in your hip. You can move side to side. We're just coming back now to our nice normal breathing, inhaling and exhaling as we go. Moving away from that big deep breath, no longer needing to release heat. All right, let's bring our heels together, open it up in that nice butterfly pose. I believe that's what this butterfly stretch, that's what it's called. You can just flutter your legs up and down. And then when you're ready, you just can slowly walk your hands forward. And whenever it starts to feel tight, stop right there and just kind of fold forward, just like that. No need to overstretch here. Just wherever it feels tight, stop right there. Again, just breathing through it right here. All right, and when you're ready, you can just let your feet go out in front of you. Hands can come out in front of you. We'll do our last little core exercise right here, which is just slowly rolling down onto your back as slow as you possibly can until you reach your back. Then once you get down to, your down to the ground, you can bring your right knee into your chest. Give it a squeeze. Gotta get across your body, supine. Half twist, arms can go up to a T, gaze wherever is comfortable. And then guide your knee back across your body, give it a squeeze. You can send that leg long. Left knee comes into your chest this time. Guide it across your body, supine half twist. Arms go up to a T, again gaze wherever is comfortable. Guide your knee back across your body. Give it one final squeeze. Both knees come into your chest. Rock up to a comfortable seated position. Hands at heart center. Eyes are closed. Thank you for taking this time for your mind, for your body, and for your soul. Thumbs come up to your third eye center, the space between your brows. We bow forward and we all say namaste. Great job, everybody. We had a, I had a fantastic time over here. Hope you did. Two, I'll see you next time. Bye.